Hello dear Phasmatic friends! Today, nonlinear inequalities again, specifically quadratic again, but with no solution. Follow me, please. First of all, we need to identify that we have an inequality and that this inequality is nonlinear, is specifically quadratic inequality. So, first step, so we pass everything to the left side and second step, make operations. But we have no operations to do. So, third step, factorize. But we cannot factorize that expression. If we have a negative sign here, yes, difference of squares. But here you have nothing to do. After that, equal to zero. We have to put the expression equal to zero. And how to solve it? Well, it is a quadratic equation. Remember, here you have to put the equal sign, not the um, less than or equal to sign. The equal sign. It is very important in the step 4. So here we are going to follow the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative v, positive negative, the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and everything divided by 2a. Remember, please, the number, the coefficient of x squared is a. After that, the coefficient of x will be b. But here we don't have x, so b will be 0. And after that, the number that is alone will be c. So here, negative 0, because b will be 0, we do not have x. Positive negative, the square root of 0 squared minus 4 times a, that is 1, times c, that is also 1, and everything divided by 2 times a, that is 1. And pay attention, here, if you solve it, you will have the square root of negative 4. And the square root of negative 4 is imaginary. So, we do not have critical values. No critical values here. Step 5. Put values in the number line. But we do not have critical values, so we are going to draw a number line without values, only with infinite and negative infinite. So, step 6, sign chart. Remember, you take the values that are on the number line and you put those values there. But here, we have from negative infinity to positive infinity. So, you are going to write only that. And here, you will put the expression that is not factorized because it is impossible to factorize it. And now you choose a value between negative infinite and positive infinite and you replace the x with that value. For example, 0, 0 squared plus 1 is positive 1. So the, the final answer of this chart is positive. But here we see that we need one expression 
less than or equal to zero. Less than zero is a negative sign. And here we have a positive sign. So, this inequality has no solution. And that's it. That means you will never find a number that squared will be less than or equal to negative 1. And it is logical. Because any number squared will give you always a positive answer. If it is negative, if it is positive, no matters. So, here... This is the exercise. Thank you very much, dear fascinating friends. See you next time.